Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Muta. My name is Lola Cynthia. For the years, there have been thousands of morality battles on if abortion should be accepted or not. In Nigeria, abortions are illegal and I honestly believe it's due to our various religious beliefs. There is the belief that it is morally wrong to deliberately and intentionally kill an unborn child. It's like an injustice to that child. But with every moral battle, there is always a different perspective. And don't go and now close this video I'm not trying to bring you to the other side you can be pro-life pro-life means that you do not support abortion so you can be pro-life maybe due to your own um, religious moral cultural or even personal beliefs and standards but in order for your agenda to be sustainable and carry a lot of weight I believe that you must be able to shift direction and expand your agenda what do I mean by that you need to support policies and programs that empower Power people so that they do not end up in circumstances or situations where they are forced to have an abortion you can't be pro-life and refuse for us to teach children and teenagers about sex education because if they are not taught about these things they lack the appropriate knowledge for them to actually make informed decisions about their sex life also you can't be pro-life and restrict us from talking about family planning and contraceptives Making these services available to women makes it easier for them to decide to have children where the conditions are right, which means that there will be fewer abortion rates. So do you support and advocate for adoption and are you against economic injustice? Knowing that the poorer a person is, the more likely it is for them to have an abortion because they know that they do not have the necessary funds to take care of that child also what is your mindset in terms of single parents and children born out of wedlock do you shame them and stigmatize them or do you create a healthy space for them to live their truth so these are the little things that you must put into consideration if you're a pro-life supporter many people who identify as pro-life or many people who I have met who identify as pro-life focus solely on the birth of the child and not the well-being of the child which makes me look at them as you are pro birth and not necessarily pro-life because if you are pro-life you do not just focus on restricting the reproductive rights of a woman but you are also focused on the well-being of all living things regardless of who they are and how different they are from you this means that you do not need to support abortion for you to understand why there is a need for health care that provide these services knowing that there is a high risk of death or high risk of negative factors associated with backstreet abortion i find it a greater injustice that these services are deprived for women who need them other than that we have thousands of children in orphanages children dying of malnutrition children living day in day out in abject poverty and children being abused every single day so as you fight for one to be born you must also fight for one to live i hate looking at the world from the lens where we believe that there are people who desperately want to control a woman's body and future that a woman who has an unwanted pregnancy must live with the consequences Consequences of her actions as some form of punishment for what she has done I hate looking at the world in that way and this is done at the detriment of the child because they do not care about the well-being of the child they just want to make sure that woman suffers for what she has done but I would be very naive to believe that this does not exist there are people who think that way it is very wrong it is abusive it is controlling and it causes more harm than good to everybody involved and I'm sure I'm talking about people are thinking oh man no it's not just men that think that way it's both sexes there is this on-air presenter dr y y yolanda she is on inspiration fm she is pro-life but what she does is she owns a foundation that have partnered with different uh, local clinics where it's believed that people go to have illegal abortions so when a girl goes to that clinic before they perform any procedure they refer her to their foundation and what they do there is they give women a monthly stipend they teach they you know they teach them on skill acquisition and tell them why they can be mothers and the, the girls can now decide to choose if they want to have children or not so you see what she's doing she's using a practical approach to sort of combat abortion she knows that 
one of the reasons why people would go for an adoption abortion rather it's because they do not have the proper funds to take care of that child and they do not have the right skills that will enable them get jobs that can help them get money to take care of that child so they rather have an abortion so she fills that gap by providing these services that's going to make them have an abortion and tell them okay you decide so this is something that i believe that pro-life supporters should emulate you need to expand your agenda to tackle the underlying reasons why people actually have an abortion and we need to come together and talk about the morality of pro-life so tell me what you think about abortions and ways you believe that we can tackle it i know that it's a delicate conversation to have because we all have our own respective beliefs and moral beliefs regarding it but the only way that we can combat this or the only way we can talk about this or bring you know solutions to this is if we bring the conversation to the forefront and have an honest open conversation about it um, thank you so much for watching my vlog my name is lola cynthia do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and i will see you next week